I want to talk about another system because sometimes you can use the loop and the copy for assign the different kind of geometry on your element. Another example we can, for example, uh, create the sphere. We can create the cube. We can use the rubber toy. This is the test geometry. It's very nice. And the pig head. Another uh, the box. I have this free geometry. Shift G. And we can have this geometry and this geometry and this geometry. And I want to put this random on my sphere. I can also say it's the polygon. It's the four, so I have more points. And also I can create with transform. And I want to scale for two or three. So we can see better in the space uh, our geometry here. So I, I can create uh, our for each loop. It's the point. Connect this. Copy to points. And we can connect that to geometry. For connected to geometry, I for use that. Uh, uh, if I connect one by one, I have only one geometry. Okay, but I can use, for example, the switch, and I can select this and put this here. And I go to connect the switch here. Uh, when I connected here, if I go here, for example, copy to points, now it's uh, working, it's load, load, load. Okay, I have here, or my rubber toy, it's copy here. Okay, there is one of my friends, it's called this Roberto. And this is the rubber toy. Maybe you can for create also the little variation you can uh, because I have the particular attribute is aptly I can uh, uh, delete attributes because I want to delete attributes for that and for that. Here in the switch and also in another um, shop you can find also for example the merge. You have the line and you can move it, for example, your attribute up or down. You can say my box, maybe it's uh, the first. Maybe you can use the first like my, uh, my box. But the old people, old school, it's using like this for have more order in your line. Now here I have, uh, we can come back here and we can delete, for example, the texture V and the material sop, so it's gray. And the same here, material sop and the texture V. So we have only the green geometry. So we have only the gray geometry, sorry, no green, gray. Okay, here we can copy, and we can see we are copied that. But I want to switch some uh, point, it's my, Cube, some point it's my pig head, and some some it's my rubber toy. For do that, we can use the, the metadata and the metadata and with the details expression inside your uh, switch. Okay, this is very comfortable when you work, for example, with uh, uh, fracture, you want to uh, create some part is more fracture, sometimes not more fracture. Create the import metadata. In this way, you can create uh, your attribute iteration. It's very comfortable. And here, I can go here and write my expression. My expression is the detail expression. So I can go here, reference, sheen data. And I can select this. Use the filter. 
I select this, I select this, select my interaction. So Udini is uh, uh, right for me. My exploration is very fast. Here I can say, okay, now it's random. Okay, random, open brackets. And I can close brackets and I can multiply, for example, for free. One, two, three, and voila, I have my geometry is copied, but maybe it's, uh, it's more big. You can also apply the P scale. So we can apply our P scale with the, our classic, I love it, uh, apply like this with the wrangle, the attribute wrangle. And I can go here. It's at p scale equals, and I can say fit range zero one. It's random, and for pt num, I say my random channel with the mean scale, scale mean, and with the random scale. Max, I can copy this part. Uh, obviously, I can save this uh, uh, script and recall every time I need it. And for example, I can change a few because here I can plus gh or in the middle plus gh random value uh, yeah random value yeah it's a uh, it's okay yeah I need to the quote close brackets here okay I create our slider here. I can save also. I save here the preset, save preset, and I can call this. Uh, also, I can put here. This is uh, a few difference for put here the way, but I can call the, my p scale. So every time save preset. Every time, for example, I need to create a new. Wrangle, I go here to preset, I find my P scale, and voila, it's created and don't write a lot of line. Obviously, if you write some line like this, and you can save preset, and you can load, it's uh, delete and destruction, this is operation you can do because it's a load the preset. And obviously, if you work with another uh, workstation, every time you can take your preference node, for example, the preference folder, and you can put in your uh, new workstation where you work. However, here I put now this my element here. And if you want, you can also set the random color. I want to set also the random color here. And with the uh, control key, waiting, waiting, okay. And here I can say 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. And the random color is what you do, you take the pt num position and add this value, for example, over here. I have a lot of imagination, obviously, today. Okay, and also here you can apply your, you can apply your normal. We'll make sure and you have that. Now there is a little problem. The problem is the duration of your line. Okay, it's not to take the, the normal. And you can use here also the normal, okay? The back expression like before, I can say A also. 
I can say also fn equals n. And now I set in, we can see what's happened. One, two, okay. It's full of all our line, our normal. Okay, the orientation is uh, around our normal. However, here I can work, uh, I can want to change uh, and I want to uh, apply some variation for normal because, and I want to create, for example, the slider for check my normal. I can do that with uh, the very particular tools inside uh, the VOP and the VEX. I want to show you how to create that in the VOP because maybe it's more uh, uh, easily. And uh, I want to show also to create uh, in the VEX and what I can change in the VEX for uh, work with these tools.